Hello everyone, I'm King Rat, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you the simplest way to get side quests up and running for your Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2. At the end of the video, I will show you an easy way to increase the resolution on the Quest 2 for an even clearer image. Now, I want to clarify, using side quests is not illegal and does not support piracy in any way, so you don't need to worry about your account getting banned. Another quick note, sometime in early 2021, Oculus is changing the side loading process, but for the next couple of months, this tutorial should work just fine. If you don't know what SideQuest is, it's basically another way to download games that Oculus hasn't allowed on the official store yet, whether it's because they aren't polished enough or just aren't far enough along in the development. SideQuest has a ton of great games, a majority of which are available for free, and increases the value of your headset a ton, in my opinion. Before we get into the video, I want to thank you guys for the support on my last upload. I spent quite a while on it, and it's nice to know that it is appreciated. Also, I'm trying to reach 50 subscribers by the start of December, so if you want to join the Rat Gang and help me out, I really do appreciate it. I would love to hear what type of content you are looking for from my channel in the future, so please leave those in the comments or join my brand new Discord. But enough rambling, let's get into the tutorial. The method I'm going to be showing you is pretty easy to set up and use, so I'll try and keep the tutorial short. You need a PC, it doesn't have to be powerful, almost any computer will work. You also need a mobile phone with the Oculus app and a cable to connect the headset to the PC. If you don't have access to a PC, I will have a link in the description for a way you can do it using only your phone, but it's a little more complicated and I don't understand it well enough to make a tutorial on it, so the link is to a tutorial by The Mystical. The first step in this process is to enable Oculus Developer Account. Visit dashboard.oculus.com, the link is in the description, and click on Create New Organization, and put in any name you want. Agree to the terms and click Submit, and then move over to the Oculus Mobile App. Once you're in the mobile app, go over to Settings, and then make sure your headset is connected. Tap on it, tap More Settings, developer mode and toggle it to on. If you're on a Windows PC, then you need to click the link in the description, otherwise you can skip this one and move on to the next step. The link will take you to this site where you need to download the Oculus ADB drivers. Once you've done this, extract the files using an application like 7-Zip, open the file and select the Android WinUSB file, and click on install. From here, you need to restart your PC and move on to the next step. Now connect your headset to the PC and select allow USB debugging on the notification that pops up inside the headset. For the final step, click on the link to the SideQuest site that is down in the description below and download the latest version. Run the setup, open up the app, and you are ready to sideload any games you would like. If you want suggestions, I'm going to be uploading my top 5 games on SideQuest pretty soon, so stay tuned. Now before we finish the video, I just want to give you a couple of quick tips for using SideQuest. To install games, you always need to make sure that your headset is plugged into your PC, and up here in the top left, you have a connected and a little green dot with your headset's name. To install games, simply click on the app you want, and right here uh, you should see an install the headset option. Click this, and then in a few moments, the game will be added to your headset under the unknown sources in your apps. If you want to increase the resolution of the headset, go up here to device settings and tools in the top right, this little wrench icon. Scroll all the way down to default texture size and select the resolution you want. On the Quest 2, you can put it all the way up and still have games run totally fine, but on the Quest 1, there is some performance issues when changing this, so I would recommend just leaving it at the default. 
Okay, that is going to do it for today. I hope this was helpful, and I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. If you have questions, suggestions for content you want to see in the future, or just want to mention your favorite side quest games, I would appreciate you leaving those down in the comments or considering joining my brand new Discord. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, a dislike if you didn't, and if you want to join the Rat Gang and subscribe, I really do appreciate it.